Hi, I'm Mark Honeybone from Property Ventures and welcome to our podcast where we interview prominent members of the investment community along with other professionals in the New Zealand property market. To check us out, take a look at propertyventures.co.nz. We hope you enjoy today's podcast. Welcome back to the latest edition of the New Zealand Property Podcast and Video Series, sponsored for the last time by Property Ventures Real Estate, and we'll talk more about that soon. Um, on the right today, we have uh, the lovely Cherie Porter from Porter Property Management. Welcome to the show today. Thank you. And it's um, and uh, Cherie has a a smaller, can I say, uh, pro- Bo- boutique, maybe. boutique, boutique property uh, management company in the North Shore, uh, based out of Takapuna. Um, just briefly tell you about that and then we'll talk about what we're talking about today. Okay, well I'm an independent property manager, as Mark said, based on the shore and my point of difference is that I choose to manage a small portfolio just so that I can give my clients a better service. Great, and that's what um, lacks sometimes is if you have maybe a um, larger firm sometimes you don't get the weekend service that that, uh, I know you give people, so yeah. Exactly. Oh, good. But you know, it's it's not about me. Um, some of your listeners probably know that in recent times <coughs> you've consolidated the business and things have come back to Auckland. Yep. Yeah. Just in the last few months. Yep. Yeah. But um, you know, I hear that there's some bigger news out there. <laughs> yeah, there is some big news, uh, Sheree. <coughs> and uh, so, as of Monday, which is the tenth of October, um, and I could talk about how and why and what have you. But um, we yeah, we have in recent months just sort of built back from, from Auckland. We've actually got smaller than we were three or four months ago. And because this, this has presented other opportunities to us, and um, as some of us will know, I try to uh, do the best I can and keep on the edge of real estate. And what we're doing is we're amalgamating and going in partnership with uh, Harcourts. And so Monday will be, uh, become Harcourts Property Ventures. Wow. So it is, it is big news. Yeah, so how does that change things with how, how you're in real estate? Yeah, well, it changes things a, a lot. I mean, the great thing is we are still property ventures and all our ethics and the people that know us and our background, you know, we started as a buyer's agent, um, one of the first couple in New Zealand. And, uh, and because of that, we work closely with property investors and uh, developers and uh, renovators and all those sorts of people. So that doesn't change at all. We've still got that massive database of uh, investors we'll look after and we'll keep doing the newsletters every two weeks I do. And we'll keep doing the New Zealand Property Podcast. In fact, we'll do it more often than we have just lately because of uh, haven't done too many lately. And um, so we'll, we'll still have all that. Um, but the great thing I love about Harcourts, it is the largest real estate company in New Zealand. It is, uh, I think it's the last nine years, the most trusted brand on a real estate of New Zealand. And uh, their, when I really look deeply into it, their ethics and what they're all about, which is the client, family, and having a good time, is pretty well what we are. We, we want to do our best. And so now we've, um, we've got all our investors, you know, when we try to sell a property, for example, we've got all our investors we still go out to. We still sell about 30% of our properties to our database. <clears throat> and now we've got a massive, um, you know, how course is 2,300 uh, agents around New Zealand and we're going to use the best of them want to sell the property through us and the one good thing I like about <coughs> Harcourts is the incentive for an agent who's not listing the property is great to sell the property so they're going to be financially looked after by selling the property that we list for mm-hmm. example so that's that's really important with real estate and you know that the white the, you know there's always in what's in it for me and there's what's in it for the best agents in, in Harcourts and they'll be the ones who will um, help us, you know, sell some of our properties maybe in territories we aren't that familiar in. Mm-hmm. So in the past, you've dealt with, you know, properties all around New Zealand. Obviously, you're, you're based now at Alexandra Park. How's that going to impact on the business around the country? Yeah, no, great question. Um, and it, 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 I guess it will change things slightly. We don't have agents in, you know, Dunedin and Christchurch and all those places we used to. Uh, one of the things I like about Harcourts, and I dug deep 
was you can still list anywhere in in, in New Zealand, um, not only Auckland but but New Zealand wide. For example, I've got an unusual one at the moment in Queen Charlotte Drive in the Marlborough Sounds. Now, <coughs> that's not the usual property. Um, it's it suits an investor, and um, and I think I've got a better chance of selling it than a local agent maybe in 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 um, in Blenheim or Marlborough. Now that's um, not always going to be the case. So at times I might refer it to the best Harcourts agent, someone that I trust in another part of mm -hmm. New Zealand, but it's all, all of New Zealand too, not just where Property Ventures used to be. Mm -hmm. So that's also a, a bit of a plus. So, and, and if, if we do um, put it out to, and because you know, a lot of people come back to me and say, hey, you sold my property two years ago, eight years ago, I want you to sell it again. And um, the great thing is I can give you to a local, the best in the, in the business in that town and we're still going to list it. We're still going to have it on our database, out to our database. So that's that's got to be a, a real bonus. I mean, obviously I'm sort of a you know, pro what I'm doing, but I think we've got one of the best sales you know situations that we can have in real estate. Mm -hmm. And how's that going to impact on the new build side of your business? Yes, yeah, so the new builds, as many know, we still have many um, new build. We're, we're sort of trying to improve our new build um, sales process. Um, so. I guess the great thing for us, as I just said to you, um, to you all before, was we when we sell something, it, it incentivizes others to sell our stock. Well, if someone comes to us with new builds, and many know we have a lot of new builds all around the country, and we'll still have that, is um, we actually have, if you want to buy a new build from us, not only do you have the stock that we have, we have the stock from everyone and anyone in Harcourts that does new builds. So we can still be your you know, key go-to people uh, we're just about to boost our new build team a little bit and um, I'm pretty excited about that and um, yeah so I think again because of our contacts with the, the you know the best agents and the biggest brand in, in the country it, it's got to be a, a real win for buyers and new builds but also for the um, uh, vendors who want to sell through us. Okay well I know that you started as a buyer's agent <coughs> so now that you're with Harcourts you know, are you still looking after buyers? Yeah, we will still look after buyers, and obviously, um, as many of you out there will know, normal real estate companies, what they class as a buyer's agent is different from what Property Ventures started as a buyer's agent eight years ago or 10 years ago, helping buyers in the property. Um, but again, if we, um, even in the last few months, uh, a few of our agents in our office in Alexandra Park have helped a few people to buy other other you know they come and they want a property we haven't got what it suits so we've gone and helped other people that's going to become easier and it's also going to come easier because um, not in fact like us and I guess other Harcourts or any agents around the country sometimes people come to us they haven't got a whole lot of money they don't want to spend money on advertising which we don't want because we want to do the best advertising you can best advertising means the more people means the best price right so um, what we um, want to do there, there is by people coming to us, we'll, we can actually tap into the Harcourts database that haven't advertised well, but there's a really good deal there to buy. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So as we said, next week your offices at Alexandra Park are going to be rebranded as Harcourts Property Ventures. Um, so are you just dealing with properties in the area? Uh, well, yeah, for, in fact, very good question because we do want to become an, a bit more of an area specialist than we are now, I guess, right at the, as we speak. Um, we're lucky enough to be, the reason we're at Alexandra Park is because many will know we sold the last 35 properties at Alexandra Park, um, the latest development that were built there. The reason for that was because it took so long to build. Um, it went through the, to the sunset clause and about mm. 40 people um, gave your properties back to the park and they hired us to sell them so um, that, that's the main one of the reasons that we're there now is because we're in the community and it is a real community at Alexandra Park and more now than it was a year ago everyone's sort of living there now there's more shops opening up um, so that, that's one of the great things we're there and not only that in the next seven years there's going to be about another 600 apartments built there now that's that's pretty exciting for us that they're the only company there pretty exciting us being a Harcourts Property Ventures being there rather than just a Property Ventures because everyone knows who Harcourts are and that's another reason that we went. We, we loved 
I mean, I'm passionate about property ventures real estate, right? I started the company, and so are some of the others have been around for a while. They, they get it. Um, but, you know, that, that was fine. We were passionate. We love our story about it. But people that don't know us don't know us, right? And everyone mm -hmm. knows Harcourt's the biggest company in New Zealand, yeah. most trusted brand for the last nine years, right? So um, so being a, being a part and having a part of Alexandra Park, and we, we, we're lucky enough to have that at the moment with another company, um, that, that's fantastic. But we do certainly want to get a bit more around our region also. We're, we're right next to One Tree Hill. We want to get in around mm -hmm. that area. Um, but again, still, we, we, you know, we've, as many know, we started with property investors. That's still our, our you know, that, what bread and butter, that's how we started. We still do a lot of deals in South Auckland. We still do a lot of deals in, in, um, in West Auckland. Mm -hmm. We've done a few on the North Shore. We'd like to do more on the North Shore. We're about to have a few um, brand new townhouses off the plan in, in Glenfield, for example. So that's, um, yeah, so we, mm -hmm. yeah, we still want to spread it around. We've got okay. eight, even though we're in, where we are, one tr in, um, in, where are we? <laughs> <laughs> Alexandra Park. Alexandra Park. <laughs> <laughs> we're, um, even though we're at Alexandra Park, we, we still have agents working from East Auckland right through to Pukekohe, through to the North Shore, out west. Mm -hmm. So we can still sell the properties anywhere. Mm -hmm. Well, what if I've got a property, say, in, in the South Island? Is that still an option? Yeah, as I said before, we can either, depends on what it is, if it's something like, if it's a real investment property, we might look at doing it ourselves, or like the one in the Marlborough Sounds, or otherwise, we may, as I said, refer it to a very good agent and you. You have to. It's your decision. You're the you're the owner of the property. You have the, the choice of what you do. Um, we may put you on to someone mm -hmm. else. We will we will see. Okay. Well, this all sounds great, Mark. But really, why do, why do your listeners want to list with Harcourt's Property Ventures? All right. Well, why should let they? Let me let me start. <laughs> oh God. Okay. You got five minutes. Rightio. <laughs> <laughs> and, and in fact, I'll tell you. This is this is my presentation. I give to any vendor that I talk to before Harcourt's come along. And it's, um, I, I tell them about the property venture story. We deal with investors, uh, developers, and renovators. We used to be a buyer's agent, and they used to pay us to find them property. And that's changed around now. We work like a normal real estate agent. But we have all those, all those buyers. And our, our, I, I, so I tell, um, I tell people who want to list with us that we go out to the same database as all the larger agencies. Mm -hmm. And our massive unfair advantage is we have tens of thousands of investors that don't know your places on the market until we tell them. Now it's a true story, we all believe it because it's true and we still sell 30% of our property to our database. So that hasn't changed and, and we love that, I love that story, that's a cool story. Um, but not the, you know, now we've got that, okay, we've now um, got amalgamating or, or uh, joining, you know, going to partnership with Harcourt New Zealand. We've also now got the best agents in that area and the largest company in New Zealand that can also help us mm -hmm. and are incentivized to bring their buyers, and that's what the good agents do, they look after their buyers, to buy any place we've got in, in South Auckland or East Auckland or West mm -hmm. Auckland or, or, um, or wherever in Auckland, Pukekohe, for, mm -hmm. you know, anywhere. So we think we've got the most outrageously good <laughs> um, uh, you know, sale process now that you'll ever, ever get. Mm. You know, so largest you've got the company. best of both worlds, Yeah, really. we, we have. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm stoked about that and I'm really excited about that. I'm looking forward to helping clients that we already help, but helping them even to a higher level because that's what we try to do. Mm -hmm. So I'm, um, yeah, hope that answers that question. Well, that's pretty good. <laughs> and so you've got a, a, a team based at Alexandra Park now? Yep, so we're all based in Alexandra Park and that's it. We've uh, in Auckland only, as I said, Auckland wide, but in Alexandra Park. And we're um, pretty excited to get, get going in which we're, we are doing, but we're doing in the, under the Harcourt's banner from Monday. Awesome. Well, like me, I'm sure that your listeners out there are really excited about the next chapter, the, the Harcourts Property Ventures chapter, and it's a really exciting chapter for you. So back to you now, Mark, and I think you can wrap it up. Okay. Well, thank you very much. You've been a, a terrific host of the New Zealand Property Podcast, and I might look at getting you back one day. Who oh, thank you. You. Might, you might take it over from me. Who knows? <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm hugely excited about the uh, new chapter in Harcourts Property Ventures. Um, at Alexandra Park, um, drop in, see us. We almost look the same. The, the blue, it just looks a wee bit different, you know. But um, still I like the same it. welcome. Still the same welcome, and you'll be yeah, certainly greeted well. We've got a new coffee machine in the office too, so there you go. <laughs> so um, yeah, hey, thanks for listening. Um, 
we'll be back in a couple of weeks time and uh, with a new sponsored uh, company and uh, we'll see and thanks for listening and watching the New Zealand Property Podcast.